Welcome back to Systems and Schedules. This is lesson four, office space. You can have the perfect systems, everything scheduled you need in your business, and a brilliant content calendar. But if you don't have a space to work in to execute these systems and schedules and calendars, then you're going to be lacking what you need to become a brilliant business. And so today we're going to talk about how you can set up an office space that works for you. In this lesson, we will review why you need a dedicated office space, setting up your office, and maximizing your space. So why do you need a dedicated workspace? One, it allows you to focus. And two, you can get into a work mode. What I mean by that is, is if you're just sitting on the couch with your laptop, eating a snack, watching a show, you're not really focusing on work. You're focusing on relaxing and just doing a little work here and there. So when you have a workspace, you have a dedicated spot to work on your TPT products and creations. A dedicated workspace also helps you minimize distractions and it helps balance work and life. This one's great because when you go to your workspace, you know you're working on TPT. I love having my office space because when I go to my office, I can concentrate on working. And when I'm out of my office, I know I can focus on my family. It really does help with that balance. Um, creating a space that's dedicated to working on TPT will also help you when you do live videos and recordings. Maybe you're not ready to do any live videos or recordings, but you can at least start thinking about, okay, where am I going to do my office space so that if I want to do a live video or a reel or some other sort of video, you can have a good backdrop in your office for those type of scenarios. It also helps you feel more professional. As a business, you should feel as professional as you can be so that you can be proud of your work and be dedicated to your creations. So how should you set up this office space? Number one, you need to make the space yours. So you need to add a touch of your own personality, whether that's through the decorations you use or the colors you use. Make the space feel comfortable for you. If you are excited to go to your office space to work, you will be more excited and more willing to do your work because you will like the environment you're in. Find a dedicated location. It can be anywhere in your home. When I first started on TBT for the first two years, I was just in our master bedroom. I had a desk off to the side of our bed and that was my dedicated location. It worked great for the time being. When we moved into our new home, I made it a priority to have a full office bedroom for my office and TPT. I really, really suggest having your own room for an office, but if that isn't possible, you can definitely make a space in your home, your dedicated location. What's important is that you know that when you go to that space, you are working on TPT. Clear out all distractions. I don't put a TV in my office because I would be distracted. Make sure to have good lighting. I like to have natural light, so I have a big window in my office. Make sure that the lighting in there makes you happy and makes you want to be in that space. Think about the technology you need, and we'll go over specific technology you should have, but also think about what your brand and business needs. You need a printer, a laptop, you need a microphone, you need ring lights. What kind of items do you need to make your business run? Then find the right desk and chair. When I had my office in our bedroom, I was more worried about how that chair looked because it was in our bedroom than I was how comfortable it was. And that was a mistake. I would get sore and I didn't like sitting on it because it was a hard chair and it wasn't comfortable. So you can find a nice comfortable chair that is also cute and trendy. So find what works for you and will, will make you comfortable. And then I want you to have at least two monitors to work on. What I mean by that is you are going to have multiple monitors. When I am working on TPT, I have three screens. In fact, I think more having four would even be, would be a good idea. But when I have my three on my left side, I have my clip art. Then in the middle, I have the project I'm working on. And on the right side, I have the internet up for research, or I might have another project up as well. Like down here, I have two projects up here. 
Now, what you can do is you can click on the clip art and immediately drag it into the PowerPoint. You do not have to insert each image individually. So that alone saves so much time and you're not clicking between tabs trying to find what you're working on because it's all open in front of you. I am telling you this is one of the best tips you're going to learn about office space is that you need multiple monitors, at least two, but three is also very ideal. I've loved having three. So you can see everything you're working on right open in front of you. The clip art alone, being able to drag it in and out will save you so much time. And then I like when I'm making the digital version of a product, having the paper version up so I can easily see how I'm transferring and making it different. Now here's how you can set up your office. I just want you to see mine as an idea. Now not everyone's gonna have an office like mine and some people it might be bigger or it might be smaller. But the point is to have an office that works for you. You also wanna have all the items you're using to work on your business in that office. So if you need a ring light, keep the ring light in your office. Don't keep it in the basement. Or if you need certain art supplies for when you put products together like crayons or markers, keep those in your office so you're not running back and forth and so that they belong to you and your business and your brand. So this is mainly what my desk looks like. So I have the three monitors here. I have all this space up here with cubbies where I keep books and manuals that I need for reference. But I also have props that I use as decorations, but I'll also use them as props and photos. Now here on the right, you'll see this cubby and I use that cubby for photography. So these are backdrops and so is this right here. This is a backdrop. I put contact paper on a piece of wood and then I just slide that out. I have my ring light that I put over it and I put all of my photo props and all of my products on that contact paper to take the pictures and do videos. So it's all right here. And then my printer is hidden in this drawer here. And in this drawer here, I have papers, more props, things like that. And I use this office just for me. My kids don't get to do homework in there. My husband has his own office. The kids do homework in a different space in the house. So this office is just dedicated to my business and my brand. Here's just some other angles. I like to use it for backdrops in pictures as well as when I'm doing videos or live Facebook videos. Here's some more office ideas. I love the windows in this office. I think it's great that they have so much workspace. And then this one's very clean and tidy. Obviously, I would add another monitor to this computer. It looks like this is a shared office space between two people. And these are other some great examples. Again, I would add the multiple monitors. I really find that beneficial. But you can see that these are great office spaces and they, some of them take up a lot of space and some of them don't. So you need to find what works for you, for your home and your family. All right, let's now talk about the technology you should have in your office. Number one, you should have a ring light. I've tried lots of different lighting options and the ring light is my favorite. Start with the 18 inch one, which is the bigger one, so that you can use it for live videos, product photography, videos of your products, all sorts of different tasks in your business. Start with the big ring light and then as you go, you'll know if you wanna add different sizes or not. But ring light, number one, definitely need one of those. Also a printer, you're going to be printing off a lot of materials to showcase your products. And you wanna make sure that printer can print in both color and black and white. You'll want a microphone and a laptop. I like my microphone that can plug into my laptop. This way I can use it if I'm creating live videos or videos or a podcast. I haven't started a podcast yet, but if that's something you're interested in, you'll want a really good microphone or a YouTube channel. So the microphones come in handy. I have the Blue Yeti and it is really nice. I thought it was reasonably priced. And in fact, my husband liked it so much that he bought one just to use when he does his Zoom calls at work. I feel like they cancel out a lot of noise and really pick up your voice when you're speaking. You also will want a smartphone because your smartphone is going to help you take photos, videos, you're gonna be able to do office tasks on the go. 
a lot of the apps like Canva and Asana you can have on your phone and you can use those when you don't have your laptop near. Now I wanna go back to laptop because I know I talked about having multiple monitors. So I hook those monitors up to my one laptop so that when I need to go somewhere, if I need to bring my laptop, I still can. So I still think having a laptop is necessary. I just don't want you to be multitasking and watching a show on your couch and working on TPT. I want you to be able to go to your dedicated workspace and work on TPT during your dedicated time. Now, I want you to also maximize your space. Ask yourself, what are you using this space for? Are you making YouTube channels? Are you making podcasts? Are you creating courses or webinars? Are you just creating products right now, which is great. Think about what your office needs and fill that space with it. If you think you'll need a good backdrop in the future, then save a space in your home or your office that you can use as a backdrop for live videos. Or if you're going to be taking your own product photography and videos, make sure you have a space there for that. You can see with this arrow, this is where I do my product photos. Then I want you to think, is everything you need accessible? And where are you going to be keeping your products? I like to keep all of my printed out material in binders and in files so that I can refer back to them when needed. So the ones that I'm currently using, I keep on a bookshelf in my office. Then when I'm done and I don't think I'm going to need them for a while, I don't necessarily want to throw away that work, but I'll go move it into the basement because I may not need it anymore. So I want you to make sure everything you're using for your office stays clean and organized and that it is all useful to your business, whatever is in your office. And it's only for you. Remember, this is your office space and your brand. So don't share this space with anyone else. It's for you so you can stay on task and be dedicated to your brand and your business. In the end, you don't need to do it all. You don't need to have a podcast and a YouTube channel and a Facebook and an Instagram and do all of those at once. Choose what you're good at now and focus on that for your business. Choose one pathway to focus on so you can succeed in your brand. Maybe you're currently just focusing on product creation. That's great. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to hire a virtual assistant. That will be amazing. I want you to figure out what your office space needs and I want you to start creating that brilliant office space today. Whether that's a full office or just a space in your home, go find that office space and get to work.